We're on Mad Mordigan's account, and he's all in for Geo. Let's go. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here, and my dude, Mad Mordigan. I hope I'm saying that right. I think so, but my dude messaged me, and he was like, really wants me to pull his shards he is like so all in for a geomancer it's ridiculous um i think he also needs farrakhan i'm not 100 percent sure on that and he's really looking for some good legendary champions so let's take a look at his roster over here now i will say my dude your roster is pretty nice right now pretty nice for, especially for where you're at in the game the valkyrie rodos Draco, Brago, Kandrafon, we got the last fusion, we got Tormund and uh, obviously Arbiter, we got Molly. Like, this is a nice roster. You have Goffred as well. Some really good go second champions here. Um, looks like we need to gear up this uh, <laughs> more to a little bit. But I think that, that your roster looks great, man. So one of the things that he wanted to ask me while I was on his account today is what champions would I prioritize on his account? Okay. Um, the next thing that he wants to know is specifically for the undead faction, the undead faction. So let's take a look at his champions here. We have, uh, oh, that's demon spawn. Okay. We got to keep going. Where's undead? Okay. So, in Undead, you have Gorgrab, so you should be good to go. You have Mausoleum Mage, and you have Husk already at 60. That's great. So, if we scroll down here, you also have a Seeker, which is, which is good. But then, who's the fifth champion? I don't see a fifth champion. Oh, this is still recently used. Okay, let's go to Faction. And then scroll down. Okay, and then who's who's Dark uh, Dark Elhain here? I mean, Dark Elhain is fine, and she can do it. I would say I would put Seeker in there, and this is kind of a defensive build. I like that. I would get his speed up above 200. It's one of the main keys to your success in uh, any faction war. And then, oh... You have Ultimate Death Knight, which I found is actually very difficult to use, but I might I might get him in there. I would probably go for Ultimate Death Knight and Mausoleum Mage that combo. I would go for the Ultimate Death Knight Mausoleum Mage combo. I would put Gorgrab in there, and then I would probably do Rodos and Seeker as the five. You could try Husk instead of Rodos, but I think Rodos is going to be better there for you, especially against the Valks. Um, and again, pretty slow here, but that might not matter, especially with Gorgrab. But if you can get more damage on him, that would be better, and get him faster, that would also be better. So, what is the speed on your Gorgrab? Yes. It's just like all of your champions are pretty slow. We have nobody over 200 speed, so that is one of the things holding you back. Even though you have two turn meter boosters, you still want to get those speeds up. Okay, you still want to get those speeds up. So I would recommend doing that. Also, you need to get some accuracy on your Seeker at least 220 so you can provoke the Valks. And man, I guess you're going to have a hard time with that Valk wave. You really are. I mean, maybe I'm misremembering and there's no Valkyries. Um, for the level 21 boss, but I think there is, I think that's the Valk wave. Um, so yeah, so you definitely want to, you definitely want to have healing. You definitely want to have the boost and the revive. How's the, how's the HP levels? You need everybody over 50 K HP for the boss. So that's something you'd want to work on as well. Okay, let's take a look overall and see what other champions he should be leveling up on his account here. Um, I mean, how's how's the clan boss team here? 
before we get into the shard pulls, which I'm very excited about. If your clan boss team is not sorted out, you're running the easy double man eater. Okay, that's fine. I would probably upgrade that to bat eater, though. You could run man eater, man eater, Draco, uh, seeker, and pain keeper, and that would way, way increase your damage, I would think. I would think. Yeah, right now you're three keying. You could two key or one key with that team. So I would, if you don't have a pain keeper leveled up, that would be my very next priority. Oh, you do. You have three pain keepers. Oh, probably for iron twins. So yeah, I would definitely build bat eater. I think that would be a, an amazing improvement for your account right there. Do you really need Whirlum? No. Do you really need Bistifus? No, but he's okay. I... I don't know. Maybe there's somebody in the vault. There's no one really there that I would say, hey, you should focus on this champion. And I'm not seeing anybody in here, so hopefully we're going to pull somebody for you. Where are we at on Cold Hearts? We have two cold hearts. I do like a third one, personally, so that could be something that you level up. But I think that you're right. Like you, you're kind of, kind of stuck here for waiting for more champions to level up. Are there any other factions? Yes, I would just concentrate on leveling champions up for specific factions. So, like any of these factions that you don't have cleared, six star the team. And that's going to help you clear it. That would be my priority here. So without further ado, let's jump into the shard pulls. I hope that that was helpful to you. We have 153 ancients. And if we don't get Geo, we're going into the sacred shards. We would also love a Brogni, okay? Or any impactful champions, right? Any impactful champions. So we have switched over to pulling in 777. And that has been crazy. So please join me in 777 and pull your shards. Also, cheers. Drink some tea. Or whatever your morning beverage is. I've been, been liking the tea. It's less caffeine. And I think it tastes better than coffee a lot of times. Right now I'm drinking uh, it's some kind of like blueberry green tea, I think. I don't know. My wife got it. It tastes very interesting. I'm not used to that, like, fruity type of taste in the morning, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's very interesting. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey, there's a Farrakhan. All right, I would definitely build him. I think he could be very good for you on your account in a majority of areas. You could also build Dilesia. She's very similar to the Fusion. She could be helpful to you in Faction Wars and Hydra. Claude. A lot of people like Claude. And uh, I'm not going to say Claude's second name in for fear of uh, messing it up on camera. If you know what I mean. Yes! There's the Geo! Yes! Yes! So that would be the number one priority. Number one priority here. And then we're out of space. So, what should we do to open up the rest of the space for the Ancients? We should double-check the Vault. Okay, we can throw a giant pile of champions in here. So, let's throw in all of these epics that we don't need. And we can throw Bistifus in there. And then, let's throw all these rares in there. Now, uh, if it would be of interest to you, please put in the comments below if you'd be interested in this video. I have had a number of times recently, people ask me for basically what is a champion cleanse, for me to go through their champions and tell them who they should keep, who they should get rid of, uh, who they should prioritize building on their accounts, um, all of these types of things. 
If that would be of interest to you, please let me know that in the comments below. And I would I would love to do a video on that for you. No, I don't want to quit the game. That was the wrong X. Okay, so let's... We have a bunch of... Okay, well, let's see how much space we have first. Okay, we have plenty of space, but we definitely could get rid of some. Um, oh, wait. No, we don't. We definitely need to get rid of some. <laughs> some uncommons. Okay, so uh, let's show upgradable only. Let's go for you. And thank you for your patience. I do not have time to edit this video, so unfortunately you will see this. If that is not of interest to you, then make sure that you just skip ahead. Skip ahead like one 30 second amount or one minute or so, and then you will get to the next shard pull session. Hopefully we're gonna get a legendary for my dude here this morning. We did accomplish our goal of Geomancer. I wouldn't mind getting a second one for him. I have three Geomancers built on my account, and I highly recommend if you have them available to you, build multiple Geomancers. Okay. Uh, if we need more space, I'm just going to open the rest up with gems. I hope that's okay. But I think that that is enough. So let's go. Let's go. We got the Geo. Now we need a Lego. We got the Geo. Now we need a Lego. Okay. I have some sweet videos lined up for you guys this weekend. I have a double upload planned for tomorrow. And I have at least one video for Sunday. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, you definitely should be. I have some amazing content for you guys coming up. Okay, none of these champions so far are build worthy here. Masked Fearmonger is pretty disappointing. Like, building him with uh, like a fear team is still not even going to be good, so... It's just, it's just not good. I'm very interested to see whether we're going to get a Halloween fusion right after um, this current fusion, though. I'm very interested to see that. If so, it better be good. It better be a good one. After the uh, drama of this fusion. Okay, Deerendil. I think he's alright. I still don't know anyone who built one. So, I don't know exactly how good he is, but he seems cool. It's just, all of his abilities are single target. Yes, we did it! Yes, we did it! Two Geomancers! Not just one, two. Now we need a Lego. <laughs> now we need a Lego. Get the two Geos, just like I wanted. That was the plan the whole time. Ooh, miscreated monster. Definitely build that guy. He is very, very good for Faction Wars. 30 Ancient Shards. One Legendary, please. We got the two Geos. Okay. Mordecai. I would probably build a Mordecai as well. You could use an HP Burn Champion on your account. So, you have tons of champions to build just from this Shard Pull session, which is amazing. Unfortunately, right now, they are all Epics. Okay, where's the Lego Plarium? Was that it? All right, I I hope you'll forgive me for this. I really think that he would he would want me to do one more ten pull because we don't want to leave it like that. We don't want to leave it like that. You don't want to be in mercy during the 10x. You don't. Also, I feel like it's fate because that will get us directly to 210, which is his max champions. Okay. Here we go. One time. One time. One time. No. No! Bro! That's messed up. Alright, well, you're deep in mercy. If you pull more ancients, I feel like that Lego is right there waiting for you. 
but we got approximately 10 epics that are worth your time to build. I hope this was enjoyable for all of you. Uh, thank you so much to Mad Mortigan for allowing me to be on your account pulling shards this morning. We did get two Geos, so that's a huge win. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck on your pulls!